getting an early start this morning up here before the sun's up. Because it's hot outside and I got to get this trailer done. And I don't want to do it when it's hot. So lost a bearing. Gotta get that one, this one off. It's seized on supposedly. You can see where someone's whacked it a few times. Now we're gonna give him a new backing plate because this one's a little rough. But yeah, gonna break out the hot wrench. <laughs> It's definitely seized on there a little bit. <clears throat> Alrighty then. What is burning off? So I cut it real close on the, I cut it real close on this side and then just shaved it off on this side. So I'll hit it and it'll split and pop right off. Oh yeah. It's a little hot, but I think she'll clean up. I definitely did whack the treads once right there, but I got a thread cutter and we'll clean that up. Better than a whole new spindle, but we got that one off. So we got that other bearing off. It just slid off by hand. Um, we got the backing plate undone. We got the wires cut. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get this one all cleaned up. I'm gonna get some, get this all polished back up. So that bearing gets in there good, and then clean it up so the seal will seal, and get a new one on here and get this guy out of here. any comments on my shaft polishing abilities, okay? Now we're in the in shop portion. We gotta get this bearing cup out of this one and that one, and then get all this cleaned up so we can put it back on, and boom, sunrise and a rainstorm. It's raining over there, and sun's coming up over there. So yeah, we're gonna get this done and then get it put back on. So we got this one in 10 speed for you, so you can see how it's done, but not take very long. So we're just cleaning this one up, uh, make sure everything's good to go, and then we're going to get the inside cup out and get it ready to go. Um, I got it started with my hammer, just tapping on it a little bit um, to get started. Then I went and got my race drivers, and they're just tapered for the cups so they fit correctly. Um, tried a few of those, get it in, get that baby pounded in and set, then do the same for the other side. Uh, when I was hammering this one in, my camera, my phone fell off, so you didn't get the end of it. Alrighty, looks like it went in there. Nice and good, so we'll go get that bearing. Put it on, put the nut on, retaining. There's a washer and the retaining clip that sits there. Should be good to go. So you guys want to tighten these up so that they'll spin back and forth and get your retaining ring on there and then you're good to go.